Okay, tropical plant update. These next 10 days are gonna be in the high 90s, if not approaching 100 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. So that is not typical weather for Pittsburgh, but the garden didn't like it, the tropical plants didn't like it too, because also we might have a chance of rain too. So it might be very hot and humid. But this banshee is looking really good already, nice and green. We got some of the older leaves like, turn a little bit yellow, but that's, that's just normal. And we still had two couple baby ones trying to pop up here. I'm trying to stop them so we can just focus on the mangroves on the banana tree. So everything looking good. The cactus and um, pineapples are really gonna love the heat. Uh, what's up, Rich? Long time no see. You guys saw them at work a little bit ago. Got the passion fruit looking good. Everything got fertilized up here too. Um, pine uh, I'm not pineapple, palm tree looking good. Nice and green, these new leaves should be opening up really, really soon. Definitely coming back to life now. You definitely, these new dirt and everything really helped it a lot. Definitely need it extremely bad. Um, something that should have done a long time ago. But when you read directions a lot wrong, that's what happens. Passion fruit we got looking good. We got one on here, it's very surprising. We don't want to have a ton more. Not sure what's going on. We got nothing from the orange tree this summer. No shocker, but uh, we'll be tripping these off in the next couple of probably weeks or so, maybe not sooner than that. Very soon, I want to get before fall comes around so we have a chance to like, recover before we take it inside. Orange looking good. We got uh, the lime tree, really nothing going on. I need to keep turning this car and falling off. The limes are kind of a bust this summer, too. But we still got new ones growing, flowers, but it's don't last too long after that. Everything's doing good. Lemon tree looking good too. Everything's all fertile. Taxes looking good. How many did you pick today? <laughs> Bunch? Oh, you dropped one. Another <laughs> dozen. Remember last we had a whole fridge full. There's so many last year. Okay. Back to the video. The <laughs> wine flowers looking good. A lot of new leaves, looking very healthy. This has come back to life too, it's on the full sun now. So we'll see how it goes. It wasn't looking too good, it looks better in the winter time than it does now. But I guess it's going to be approaching 100 this weekend in the next 10 days or so. If not longer than that, it's going to be at least in the high 90s. It may even touch 100 again a couple of times. So it's very, very hot. So I think these plants are really going to like it too. And it's also a chance of rain on those days too. So it could be extremely hot and very humid. And these was what the plants love. I mean, I think I checked the forecast in um, Key West, which is where the coconut tree is from. It was temperature like 90 degrees and had, like, um, felt like 117. So definitely, definitely, definitely all the tropical plants are going to love the, the heat. That's for sure. And plus it'll be very, very sunny too. So they're going to do really good. Especially if it rains too, it'll be very hot and humid. Extremely well. Coconut trees, or not coconut tree. Pineapple plants, one of the plants are really going to love it. Especially being up against the wall here radiating technically it is a desert plant you can tell by the leaves how it forms in so the water can go down to the, the crown so this plant's gonna love to heave short and especially if there is a baby pineapple growing there that's how you get very sweet if it's very very hot um the hotter the warmer it is and the more sun you get the sweeter it is so we don't have any of that yet even though the plants i planted in 2012 but we're still waiting on that <laughs> patiently um fig tree looking good Nice and green. Very, very healthy. It's a lot bigger, it's like double size of the last year. Looking good. Got the tropical flowers there growing. Then you got another one of those tropical flowers here growing too. Hopefully, flowers we can save the season and try again next year. Wouldn't not have much good luck. We got those two more or tropical flowers. And we got the main guys, main trees here. These ones are probably going to be as big as a window by end of summer. That's at least how it was the last couple of years I've done it. They do extremely good here because they get the shade, the sun during the evening, and then when it rains, it just floods down here. It comes off the side of the house. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this update over here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Please make sure you subscribe, like, any questions, leave me in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.